So what we're seeing now is an unnatural bleaching event over a large section of the Northern Barrier Reef. And in fact, globally, we're seeing many of the reefs around the world bleaching. Very rapidly, as soon as we entered the water, we basically saw the full horror of what's occurring up there, which is that pretty much 100% of the reefs around Lizard Island are bleached. And it's because of climate change. If you keep emitting carbon into the atmosphere, global climate change will herald the end of reefs worldwide. And that is unfortunately what we're seeing. A current estimate is that perhaps 50% of the corals that are bleached uh, will probably not recover this time. Not just corals, but also uh, the anemones. They're, they're also bleaching, um, as are giant clams. So a lot of the other reef creatures are, are suffering. It's not just the corals. The events like this, this massive bleach that we're seeing on the reef in the north now do spike people's attention, but again, it's going to be a brief event. So a news flash is great. It works for a little while. They forget. You have to take, go those steps beyond that and teach people what the problem is and communicating. So, you know, we've got to communicate, you know, it's the next step, take them out there. So, you know, what I would like to see is investment in getting as many people out to the reef as possible so Australians can actually take possession of it again. What causes global warming is, is um, carbon emissions and the burning of fossil fuels. And Australia uh, at the moment sells a lot of fossil fuels to other countries, but we can't have both the reef and a large export industry of coal, so it's, it's time we made that choice.